down, right? I have my Holy Grail. I just keep it in this thing. I don't... This was purchased at Chanel, obviously. This flannels thing, just forget about it. It's just practical because it's the shape of the bag. And... See how protected I keep it? 255. The 255 bag. So it's in a plastic. So it's in actually in this little satchel. Then it's in a plastic bag in case it rains. And then it has its own protective microfiber felt. It's not felt, it's just a microfiber cover. I put the chain in the front. Let's do this from a distance. So. Um, lift this up. Okay. So as I was saying, Chanel can move aside to make space for Chanel. I put the chain in the front pouch and then I bend the corners to kind of block the chain in place. I don't put the chain inside the bag because I've noticed if you do that, you know, they're gonna tell you in the boutique to put the chain inside the bag on the side. Okay, well, let's get to that in a second. So, take it out. I still have the felt in the front to protect it. I keep a microfiber, you know, cleaning glove on the top here as well to protect the top. Then I have another one in here to block this zipper metal bit from scratching the inner um, flap. This glove pouch here protects the cover, but it's also placed in the pocket in the back so that the leather, the interior leather doesn't, heaven forbid it were to be humid or whatever, so it doesn't stick to the other part of leather. It never happened before, but I'm just, you know, this is prevention. You want to prevent something rather than, um, you know, having some terrible thing happen and then having to fix it. Because usually humidity, you can't repair it really. So in the boutique, they're going to tell you to put this chain, and I really don't like to do that, to pull it out of here, right? Pull it through there. And then they're going to tell you to place it inside the bag, you know, and then you close the bag basically. Okay, I'm not doing this as tight as it should be done, obviously because the bag is laying down right now. But anyway, and then you like kind of close it and then it's protected like that. I don't like this method because by doing so, the interior flap here where the chains go around it gets damaged with time. It, it bends inwards. In this section, it, it kind of tends to bend and crack there. So, no, I don't recommend doing this. If I did recommend it in the past, changed my mind, had other experiences. So I leave the chain outside, close the bag, put the bag in its protective pouch. Oh, other side, other way around. Oh, by the way, I have another glove, microfiber glove. I put it here. Why do I put it on the front? You'll see. I put it in its little house. We put the chain in the top lid or flap of the microfiber pouch. Then put down the light so you can see more. So we fold one side over the chain, other side over the chain. And then once in the middle, and then we put it over the bag, and then... So now it looks like this. Now you understand why I put this extra microfiber glove on top of the bag, because this chain will lay on top of several layers before it could dent the leather. So we have 
the microfiber glove, which is two layers of microfiber. That's already two layers. Then we have this layer of microfiber. That's three layers. And then we have one, two, three, four, because you're folding it layers of microfiber glove there as well. So the chain has a lot of distance from the leather of the actual bag. I know this is so geeky and you're probably gonna say I'm crazy, but whatever. I love these bags and they're so expensive. You just wanna keep them alive and well for as long as you can. And quite frankly, to me, it's also entertaining finding new ways. I mean, as I said, it's very geeky of me, but uh, you know, judge me if you want. I really couldn't care less of judgment because this is something I love. And unlike many other people, I'm not afraid to show that love. And I think in general, um, nowadays, people should really learn to express their love more. People are too shy to say what they love, to say what they like, to, to talk about that. And it's, it's just a pity because that creates frustration and ultimately it, you're running the risk of that love turning into hate. Hmm. Think about that, guys. Anyway, so that's that. And then it goes into the plastic bag and then it goes into that. So this is how I travel. Obviously, now I'm going to take it out. It's going to breathe and I'm going to use it in Paris as soon as it stops raining. So I hope you've enjoyed the room tour and a little bit of um, Chanel obsession, especially when in Paris, the, the obsession grows even stronger. Um, you know, I have this tendency like when I'm when I'm in the States, it's it's more about other things that you guys usually don't like. I'm more obsessed with toys and pop culture in America. Uh, and in France, it's more about fashion and perfumes. It's like every part of the world inspires a different aspect or triggers a different part of, of me. So that there you have it. I uh, hope you like this video. I'm definitely gonna try to do the review of Riviera uh, whilst in my chambers in Paris, on a, underneath the rooftop of Paris. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you have please thumb it up and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and also on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never give up on love. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.